Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we will learn how to bridge tokens and assets from Binance Smart Chain to Avalanche Blockchain. So this guide will help you to go through the process and also I know that if you want to get started with Avalanche, you probably don't have Avax token in your new wallet and therefore I'm here for you, I got your back, I'm here to help and I'm gonna send you some free Avax token so you can make your first transaction and get started for free. So watch this video till the end to understand how to claim those free Avax tokens that I'm gonna send you personally. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button so anytime I post this kind of educational video you can get them and watch them while they are hot because crypto is changing all the time, crypto and DeFi. Now, Let's get started. In order to do the swap from Binance Smart Chain to Avalanche, we'll use any swap exchange. Any swap is one of the best bridge uh, application. This is not an application, in my opinion, in my opinion, one of the best cross-chain bridging apps. And it's super, super simple. You basically go to the bridge or to the router. I prefer to go to the bridge on any swap.exchange. Make sure you are on the right domain. I will put links for all the addresses in the description below so you can check out the description and click the links from there. Then you go to bridge and now we're going to choose from BSC to AVAX. So from will be BSC to AVAX. Both of them are EVM compatible networks, which means that you don't need to put a uh, wallet address because it's the same wallet address in both blockchains on the Binance Smart Chain and the Avalanche C chain. There are different chains in Avalanche. The C chain is the contracts chain, which is EVM compatible Ethereum virtual machine. All right, guys, so now you have to choose which asset you want to bridge and you want to make sure that you have liquidity at the other side on the Avalanche blockchain in order to swap those assets with AVAX or any other token on the Avalanche ecosystem. So you can choose USDC, but actually if you choose USDC, the fees are quite high. They're gonna take like 80%, $8 fixed fee, which is quite high. So my opinion, what I would do is bridge BNB because on BNB you don't pay any fees and then you can right after sell them on Avalanche if you don't want to be exposed to BNB, it will be maybe minutes or hours that you will be exposed to BNB, but I believe in BNB, so anyway, anyways, it might go up during this time. And you can check here in nomics.com that actually on Avalanche you can sell and trade BNB on Trader Joe, you have a lot of liquidity and volume on BNB AVAX. Also on Pangolin you have volume, but most of the most of the liquidity will be on Trader Joe. So the best way to do, in my opinion, is to bridge some BNB to Avalanche and then you can swap this BNB with AVAX or any other tokens, USDC, USDT, etc. So you're gonna choose the amount that you want to uh, bridge. Of course, 1000 BNB is a lot, maybe two or three BNB. And then right now in my wallet, I don't have any BNB, any balance, but once I have balance, I will click here, it will be a bridge, I will click the bridge token and then I will send transaction on the Binance Smart Chain. So basically it will prompt the MetaMask transaction, you will click confirm and then the BNB will be burned on the Binance Smart Chain and after a while, usually it takes like minutes, sometimes hours, so be patient. You can check out on the avscan.info, paste your wallet address on Avalanche and there you're supposed to see the BNB tokens getting into your Avalanche wallet on the MetaMask. You can add the Avalanche wallet and then see on the MetaMask that you got. In the if you don't see it on the MetaMask, check out avscan.info, paste your wallet address and then you will be able to see your BNB tokens. Now, once you're finished with the bridge and you got your BNB on the Avalanche blockchain on your wallet, you can go to Trader Joe and then swap those BNB for AVAX tokens. But the thing is that you don't have any AVAX tokens in your wallet right now because you and you need them for paying transaction fees. And lucky you, you got my back, you got Johnny time with you and I'm going to give you some free AVAX tokens in order to send this kind of first transaction to swap your BNB for AVAX. In order to get the AVAX tokens, you have to do two simple and easy steps. It will take less than a minute. So you go to Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, open a Twitter account. Everything is going on Twitter. I post a lot of tweets there. I, I always update about new things, new strategies, new tokens, interesting projects about DeFi, crypto, GameFi. So make sure you go to Twitter, open a Twitter account. If you don't have one, go to Real Johnny Time. So you can search it on Twitter, Real Johnny Time. 
and then you will find my account, johnnytime, johnnytime.eth. Follow my account. This is the first easy and simple step. Then you go to your homepage on Twitter. You click here the left button, tweet, and you're gonna tweet, I just watched real Johnny Time video about bridging from Binance Merchant to Avalanche, and I need some Avax coins. My wallet address is, and then you're gonna paste your Avax C-Chain wallet address. You're basically gonna copy it from your MetaMask wallet. It's the same wallet that you have on Binance Smart Chain and Matic because it's the same EVM compatible blockchain. And then you can be polite and say, thanks, Johnny. Now, this is step one. Once you finish with Twitter, you're gonna jump into this exact video that you are watching right now. Go to the comment section and write, I just requested some Avax coins on Twitter. My Twitter username and then paste your Twitter news username. I manually, Johnny, gonna check every notification and go to your Twitter account, copy your wallet address and send you some Avax tokens. Super easy, super simple. Of course, I'm not gonna send you a lot of money, but just enough to make your first transaction on Trader Joe so you can get more Avax tokens for transaction fees. That's it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And if you like this video please i appreciate it that you're basically watching until now and if you can subscribe click the bell button so you can become DeFi masters here with me in johnny time and also click the like button it really helps the youtube algorithm to expose this video to many more people that want like you to get started with avalanche so once you click this like button the youtube algorithm will show this video to many more people and it will have them as it help you thank you so much for watching my videos and i will see you in the next guide bye bye